Mr. Matthias Alexander Kastren was born in the northern Finnish town of Tervola in December 1813 and died in the Finnish capital Helsinki in May 1852. He was a Finnish ethnologist and philologist. His father was a parish priest at Rovaniemi in the Finnish Lapland and died in 1825. After that, Alexander um, or Matthias um, passed under the protection of his uncle Matthias Kastren, the kindly and learned incumbent of Kemi. At the age of 12, he was sent to school in the Finnish northern Finnish city of Oulu, and there he helped to maintain himself by teaching the younger children. And then he studied at the University of Helsinki, um, starting in 1828. He first devoted himself to the study of Greek and Hebrew with the intention of becoming a priest, but his interest was soon excited by the language of his native country, Finnish. And even before his course was completed, he began to lay the foundations of a work on Finnish mythology. The necessity of personal explorations among the still unwritten languages of cognate tribes soon made itself evident, and in 1838 he joined a medical fellow student, Dr. Erström, in a journey through Lapland. In 1839 he traveled in Karelia at the expense of the Finnish Literary Society, and in 1841 he undertook in company with Dr. Elias Lönnroth, the great Finnish philologist and the collector of, for example, the Finnish national epic Kalevala, a third journey which ultimately extended beyond the Ural Mountains, uh, which are one of the geographic boundaries between Europe and Russia, as far as Obdorsk, and uh, lasted for three years. Before starting on this last expedition, he had published a translation into Swedish of the Finnish epic Kalevala. On, on his return, he gave to the world his Elementa Grammatikes Syriane and Elementa Grammatikes Ceremisie, or um, Elements of the Grammar of the Syrian Language and Elements of the Grammar of the Ceremis or Mari language, both finno ugric languages, in 1844. No sooner had he recovered from the illness which his last journey had occasioned than he set out under the auspices of the Academy of St. Petersburg in Russia and the Helsinki University on an exploration of the whole province of Siberia, which resulted in a vast addition to previous knowledge, but seriously affected his health. The first fruits of his collections were published at St. Petersburg in 1849 in the form of a Versuch einer Ostiatischen Sprachlehre, or roughly translated as the attempt at an Ostiak uh, speech teaching or speech doctrine. In 1850, he published a treatise De Affixis Personalibus Linguarum Altaicarum, um, a personal affix on the Altaic languages, and was appointed, appoint, appointed professor at Helsinki University of the new chair of Finnish language and literature. In 1851, he even became the chancellor of the university and was busily engaged in what he regarded as his principal work, a Samoyedic grammar, when in January 1852 he became bedridden and died in May 1852. Five volumes of his collected works appeared from 1852 to 1858, containing um, the... Uh, Journey Memoirs from the years 1838 to 1844, um, Journey uh, Stories and Letters from 1845 to 1849, um, Four Teachings or Four Readings um, in Finnish Mythology, uh, Ethnological <coughs> Preliminary Teachings <coughs> about Altaic Peoples, and um, academic dissertations.